I welcome you to our time of worship. It is a blessing to have you join us. We hope that as we sing together, as we hear the scriptures read and proclaimed, as we share in prayer, that you will know a blessing, that God's grace will surround you, and this will indeed be a time of peace and transformation. Come, join with us now as we gather together the throne of God's grace to praise and to worship. Come with us to the throne of God's grace where we will join together in prayer as where we will intercede for all God's people, those who are hurting, those who are struggling, those who are in the desperate places of their life, those who are in need of healing. We will bring them before God's care. But we will also come praising God, offering up our gratitude and thanks for all that God is doing and all that God promises yet to do. Our special music today is brought to us by Steve Warner and Chris Cubby, local artists and good friends. They sing to us one of the great old hymns of the church, I Come to the Garden. I hope you'll enjoy it. Falling on 
on my ear the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own and the joy Tarried there None other Has ever Known speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody he gave to me within my heart is ringing He walks with me and he talks with me And he tells me that I am his own And the joy we shared as we tarry there None other has ever joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known I read from Romans chapter 8 verses 26 through 28 and 35 through 39 Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good, for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Blessed morning, dear friends. I want you to take a breath with me. With me and my little friend here. A good, deep breath. It is truly a blessing to be gathered together in this time, wherever we are at. We are learning in this good season to be connected in all the unique and various ways. 
le learning how to see and hear one another differently and hopefully better than before. Learning how to show deep love through air hugs and elbow shakes. Learning how to see each other's smile through each other's eyes. What a good season it is. When we are stretched beyond our norms and stagnant places. when it causes us to learn and to love each other more deeply because we need each other more deeply. I have to admit, this was a week that I thought maybe I couldn't stretch anymore. Just tired and heavy hearted the concerns around us, around the world, continuing to mount. Good news, I knew had to be alive and well, but where in all this confusion and uncertainty was it? People growing weary, growing weary of not being able to gather in person with friends and loved ones. People growing weary of not being able to agree with their family members, friends, and neighbors to mask or not to mask. People growing weary of how to balance kindness and understanding with someone's rights. Growing weary of how do we make this work? How do we move on with everyone's safety in mind? Weary of standing six feet apart when we so need the embrace. Weary of being separated by our values and perspectives, our beliefs, our shade of skin, our gender identity, our socioeconomic status, our politics, just so weary of this great divide. And then I read this passage. And oh, how a couple of verses alone breathe back life, breathe back hope. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And nothing can separate us from God's love. We are not alone. We are not walking this good season alone. And not only are we not alone, but the spirit is so proactively breathing into us and awakening us to something new, deeper into the heart of God. I love it that nothing can separate us from God's love. How powerful and awesome is that? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship? or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Nothing, nothing will separate God's creation from God's love. Nothing. I'm going to do a bit of reflecting. And as I'm sharing where God's love is rocking and rolling, I want you to be reflecting as well where you have seen God's love and life abounding in acts of kindness and generosity, in acts of grace and mercy, acts of presence and understanding, where someone lived out the breath of God and impacted your life, 
where the breath of God was moving for you and you held someone in kindness and care through thought, word, and deed. Moments where we could see that we were not separated from God's love. It is so important, even in our weariness, to bear witness to sweet pockets of God's love. They are happening in our community, in our world. Sweet pockets of care and concern. Where distress did not overcome, where conflict, famine, and pandemic did not have the last word. These sweet pockets of God's love are happening. Friends using what gifts they have to reach out to another. A phone call asking, how are you doing? And the person who so desperately needed the phone call, so needed to hear the voice of their friend on the other end, being filled with joy and peace. God not wanting friends to be separated from God's love. A friend saying yes to taking in a cat that needed a new home. This friend providing that space and care and love for one of God's precious creation. A renewing of the spirit for both my friend and the furry little one. God not wanting either of them to be separated from God's love. A friend caring for a parent, being present through the long journey, a transition from this life to the next, cherishing each moment together, breathing in the ups and downs, God not wanting parent or child to be separated from God's love. Friends and strangers preparing to bring soup, nourishment of body, mind, and spirit to those who are struggling. They don't even know who is going to ask for a cup of soup. Complete strangers, complete strangers in need of care and comfort. God not wanting these dear soup makers and dear strangers to be separated from God's love. Two friends going back and forth by mail, hoping to see one another better, though their experiences and perspectives are quite different, sharing each other's voices and learning together. God not wanting anything to separate these two friends from God's love. A friend being present with migrant workers as they face the intensity of this pandemic. Friends in Greece bringing care and voice to Syrian refugees. God not wanting anything to separate them from the love of God. We haven't had our traditional worship service at Emmanuel's house since the pandemic started. This last Monday, Cliff Doris and I just needed to stop at the end of the evening and sing praise to God, lift up our prayers, be still, in the gracious presence of God. Our Christ candle was burning over by the fireplace where it is normally lit throughout the day. A constant reminder that God is with us. But we can forget. We can forget that God is holding us and moving through us, calling us to the heart of love no matter where or what situation we are in. We sang 
good, good father. Love so undeniable I can hardly speak. Peace so unexplainable I can hardly think as you call us deeper still as you call us deeper still as you call us deeper still into love 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 oh god it is who you are and you are with us gathering us to one another gathering all of you through your creation to the table all of it physically and virtually calling us deeper still not letting anything get in the way of experiencing and living your love the Christ light still shining in this good season. It wasn't our traditional worship service. It doesn't even matter. God who desires us to experience God's love was going to breathe life in whatever small and safe way we could gather. I pray that we will really receive the depth of God's love. That God's love has been with us and shaping us from the very beginning of our life. That this is a love not just for ourselves, but for everyone. For all creation around us. That we are part of its breath. We may grow weary and distress our own personal self may blind us for a while to the movement of the Spirit. But God will not stop working with us, stretching us, moving us deeper still into the heart of God. That gives me so much hope in each day we face on this earth. Whether it's a good, solid day, or a day that is hard and heavy, the Holy Spirit never ceasing her prayer for us, praying in the midst of our weakness, praying us towards light and life in God, praying us towards light and life with one another. Dear friends, may we not just hope and trust that God's love will conquer, but let us strive to be shaped by that love, to embody that love in all our words, in all our thoughts, in all our deeds of the day. Today, let us say, nothing will separate us from the love of God. Nothing will separate God's creation from the love of God. Nothing will separate us from living out God's love, being God's love to all creation. What a good season we are in. Journeying together, wherever we are at, whatever situation we are in, journeying to the heart of God. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Oh, yeah.
It has been a joy to have you with us today. It has been our hope that the prayers that have been offered, the music that has been shared, the word that has been given and proclaimed might have blessed you and bring you a sense of peace and given you hope for the days ahead. And now may the God who has created us, the Son who has redeemed us, and the Holy Spirit that blesses us continue to abide with you both now and for all the days to come.